Five most common reasons men get friend zoned. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video, where I want to talk to you about something super problematic that you probably face in your dating life as well. I cannot tell you how many times I've encountered clients who keep getting friend zoned. And I mean like literally all the time, and I don't want that to be you. They meet an amazing woman, they feel an amazing connection, and they feel like everything is going so well. And then boom, the girl starts saying things like, I'm so lucky to have you like a friend. Or she starts opening up to him about problems she's having with some guy she likes. It's the most disappointing feeling. And on top of that, I know it really hurts your ego, right? So let me ask you this. Do you keep feeling like you're always being chucked into the friend zone and you don't know really why or maybe you do know why and it's because you're always the nice guy but you don't want to be a jerk like all the other guys that seem to get really successful with women right because i get it i know it always looks like nice guys finish last but that's why i'm making this video for you because it's not true today i want to show you why men get friend zone really the truth on friend zone and how to make sure you stay out of that friend zone for good. Okay. Hi guys. My name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm a dating relationship and life coach for men. I have coached over 5,000 men. And if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to this channel as well. I help men with their traction skills, getting into healthy relationships and bettering their overall life. And I teach men sustainable attraction, which I have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials with proven results as well. So if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to click that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you're notified every time that I post a new video. Also too, for my fellow subscribers, I thank you for being a loyal subscriber. Please comment below everyone and interact with me when I post this video because I always love hearing from you. And it's truly me engaging with you in the comments when I first post a video. <laughs> Let's dive in. All right. I have made it my mission to give you all the tips and tools you need to make your love life really just thrive in your relationships. So let's get into it. First, I want to dive into why this happens so often to men. And I want to get into why it tends to happen to really great guys who would actually make for really incredible partners. And this often happens because of something really interesting that a lot of people don't realize. I often see guys thinking about what kind of things they should do to make themselves more attractive to women, more like rational attraction things. So they start working out like crazy. They try to excel at their career. They try to get a fancy car or they try to pick up skills like playing guitar or something like making a lot of money. But yeah, the problem is that they're missing the point that might get women, not the right women, and they don't get sustainable results, or they get women that use them, or they get into the friend zone, which is also a woman using you, okay? And they're actually just developing an element that maybe make them look better on paper, but it's not really doing anything to appeal to a woman on a deeper level. Let me explain. What's happening here is that they're just investing time and energy into looking good on paper without realizing that they're just focusing on becoming the rational choice, okay? And while it might be a good to look like the ideal catch on paper, what you really need to be focusing on is how you make a woman feel. You don't want to be a guy who makes women think, oh, he's a safe bet, right? No, you want to be the guy who makes women feel an intense attraction towards you. You want to make her think about you and feel drawn to you because you ignite a spark in her. And that's not going to happen because you have a nice car, or you have a six pack abs. No, at least not for a high quality woman. And most definitely not the long term, happy, sustainable relationship type of women. And this often happens to guys that get friend zoned because they are focusing on the things like trying to be the sensitive type or super vulnerable and friendly, which is the opposite dynamic, because they know that women want that in a partner, but they don't know how to manage it. While that might be true as well that they want this, you have to make sure that you don't take it too far and know how to manage the emotions as in regulate them and hold them with your masculine power as well. Especially not when you're at the beginning stages of trying to attract her. You don't want to do this, right? Which brings me to reason number two, and I'm going to go into all of this and put it together for you. Why men get friend zone. So remember, before we get into reason number two, reason number one 
A lot of men think that guys don't get friend zone when they look good. Yeah, they do. They're just another type of friend zone. They get used. And also, too, they might have intimacy with a woman, too, in those scenarios, but they never can sustain it. So that is a friend zone still mentality. That's, there's two types of friend zones, and I talk about that in my videos constantly. So let's go into the reason number two of why men get friend zones. So they're not setting the right tone and they're not showing intent, guys. And this is a tricky one because once you show intent, you're able to lead a woman into a choice because you have to find the right balance no matter what. But basically you need to be able to show her that you're reliable and that you can be open and vulnerable with her, but you have to make sure that you still pair that with a sense of mystery, right? Because think about it this way. If you're constantly available to her, if you're constantly talking about you're thinking you're sharing your vulnerabilities and saying what's going wrong in your life. And if you're always at her beck and call, she's not going to have the opportunity to really create traction for you. She's not going to have an opportunity to really miss you because that's not vulnerability and that's not attraction. And missing someone is a huge part of attraction, especially in the beginning phases, getting them to think about you. That's what creates desire. You want to give her the chance to miss you, think about you, crave talking to you, get excited when she sees the phone ring and it's your name on it or a text message, because this is how a woman can start to really fantasize about you little by little. If you're always around, then there's no room for breathment. There's no room for mystery or anticipation. And it's way too easy to slip in the friend zone. And that's where if you don't have happiness and you become needy and codependent in a relationship, or you're looking for a woman to validate your existence and your confidence, this is where you're going to fall short and be the kind of guy that women maybe date and then end up breaking up with, especially if you're being a really, really overly compensated, nice guy. Listen, I know it probably feels counterintuitive to a lot of you to give her plenty of space when you're trying to get closer to her, but you have to play this with a healthy push and pull. Here's what I mean by healthy push and pull. When I say plenty of space, you have to create a life that you desire because naturally you're going to be able to give her that space. And so when you don't have a life that you desire, when you don't have ambitions, your woman becomes the desirable asset in your life and she becomes your ambition. You understand? So guys, it's like the classic rule of attraction. She simply won't see you as an exciting target or an exciting challenge if you don't give her the opportunity to. The same thing goes for women, right? For with you. So instead of messaging her or calling her all the time, let her be the first sometimes to reach out from time to time when you're starting to get into the dating frame, when you guys have gone out a while. Focus on how she initiates and focus on how she responds to you. And when she reaches out, give it a little time before answering here and there. Not like you're playing games, but because you have ambitions and you have your life going on. So if you respond immediately all the time and you're always there and you're always needy, you're always dependent on her and your ambition is her, it makes you look way too available, in most cases, unconfident and clingy. Remember, you always have to keep an eye on making sure that you never look needy, of course, and I get that in the men's world, but because it's not cute, because women want that masculine frame in a man because that's what they find attractive. And that neediness and the cleaningness really damages attraction. So next up, we have reason number three, and this is one is, I think is important. And I mentioned it a little bit in number two, it's not showing intent. This is probably the mistake I see most often when it comes to me coaching men. They often struggle with being able to communicate their intentions to a woman when they're dating a woman and exciting and flirtatious way to slip in a flirty line or show their intent. So instead they slip into the friend zone because they're not able to show intent. Here's the thing, guys. I remember there's a difference between a guy that is holding his intent and holding his mask and frame is owning who he is as a person, is owning his sexuality, is owning his intent, is owning his desire, and he's confident. He's not coming from a place of creepiness. He's not coming from a place of arrogancy or nothing. I'm gonna give you an example of a man showing quick intent on an approach. Let's say you're at a coffee shop and you see a woman at the coffee shop and you go up to her or she comes by you, whatever, and you're just like, hey, I wanted to tell you that you're really beautiful. Um, you caught my eye. I would love to get to know you a little bit more. What do you say I take you out to a lunch or dinner? Do you mind if I get your number or coffee, right? There is a difference between holding your composure with confidence. You are showing intent. You're showing interest. What happens here is you're giving a woman a choice. What men typically do is they're like, 
meet a woman and they're like, hey, you know, we're talking or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, that sounds cool. That sounds fun. Oh, you like rock climbing? Oh, you like hiking? Me too. Let's go hiking together. Great. Let me take your number. You go hiking. You call it a date. That's rational attraction. That's not a date, guys. You never showed intent. Your intent was just to go hiking. And that's something she can do with a friend. But intentful man would say to her, approach a woman, let's say at a coffee shop once again and say, hey, you caught my eye, find you really interesting. I don't know if you have time for a moment to talk and get to know each other really quickly. If not, just wanted to know if you would like to um, make sure if I can get your number and maybe take you out to coffee again so I can get to know you. Boom. That's it. What happens here is it doesn't happen often to women, number one. Number two is you're giving the woman a choice. What happens with men is they think that it's a game or it's hard they're going to come off creepy. Intent is so important because it gives a woman a choice and then gives you natural direction. Let me say that again. It gives a woman a choice and then gives you natural direction. So you don't have to choose and play a game and try too hard. So intent goes hand in hand too with flirting at times. And it creates that exciting dance of anticipation when we flirt in our conversations. But there has to be a balance between showing your intent and maintaining a sense of mystery, right? So when I say mystery, it's not like just going all in, you know, when you play poker, you're not going to show all your cards. So I like to coach my clients to find that sweet spot between being mysterious, we can say, and flirting to show intent. And that sweet spot typically is if you have ambitions in your life, if you have goals in your life, if you're happy in your life, that mystery component is just going to be natural, guys. So not being mysterious and putting all your cards on the table, your poker deck, basically, being excessively transparent and honest, guys, is not the way to go. And a lot of people will argue with me on this because they're like, oh, then this is games. Why can't people just accept me for who I am? Blah, 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 blah. Guys, not everybody is a good person for you out there. And not everybody is a good person. Not everybody has a right to earn your story, plain and simple. So you have an accountability for yourself to have standards and boundaries in the women that you date and the people and friendships that you bring into your life. You have to bring them through the strainer. And as time consists and kind time continues, you're going to be able to see that woman's true colors. So the key here, guys, is to know what you want, right? And right off the bat and knowing what you want, because this is the recipe for success, guys, is knowing what type of woman that you want to date and looking at yourself and saying, do I inherit these traits myself to attract that type of woman? So I want to give you a concrete example of this. But before I do, I want to remind you guys, if this is your first time visiting this channel, I want you to click that subscribe button and comment below. And to all of my fellow subscribers and loyal subscribers that are with me now, I thank you once again and comment below as I love engaging with you once I post this video. So let's move on. Let's go on with a concrete example of basically flirting and showing an intent. Let's say that you're letting her make the first move to text you and she finally does. And she sends you something like, hey, how was your weekend? And remember, you don't jump on your phone to respond maybe immediately because you're out with the guys or you're boating or something. You wait a second. Maybe after 10, 15 minutes, you can send her something like, ah, see, I'm on your mind. I have to say, I might like that. My weekend was great. How was yours? You can do something like that. Or you can say, I went to this restaurant that I think I'd like to take you to. It was so good. You're showing intent still. You see what I mean? Then you can take it from there and start to have fun with her and banter with her and actually talk about this extensively and share a bunch of examples about how to flirt. And I have you actually practice flirting with other women besides your coaches in my algorithm of attraction group coaching program. So I highly recommend you checking that out. And in order to check that out, it's not available anywhere else. You have to actually click the link and you have to book a free dating evaluation with people from my team. And they're actually people that I've worked with and actually have done this course and men that have gotten numerous results from this program. I've gotten them to successful relationships. Many are engaged now and married. And so if this is something that you're looking for and you want to get better with women and also to just happier and have direction in your dating life, we don't just accept anybody because it's three months of coaching with me, over 40 hours of coaching with me in person. I mean, excuse me, in person, meaning in Zoom, so excuse me. And and it's really, really effective. And I get numerous results, but we don't take just anybody. So you have nothing to lose. Click the link below and sign up for a free dating evaluation right now. And I'll link it up here as well. All right, 
So let's go into four guys. Reason number four, why guys get friend zone. It's all about basically confidence, okay? And having a sense of boundaries with yourself. Time after time, I see guys come to me to help be for help because they lack confidence when it comes to dating women. And one of the results of this is that they often get friend zone. So picture this scenario. You meet someone you're interested in, but you find yourself struggling to assert maybe your romantic intentions. Maybe you're worried about being rejected or coming off too creepy or scared to ruin the friendship and making things weird because if you're a great friend, she'll finally see you and want to be with you and you have that mindset. So you hold back your true feelings and settle for being a supportive friend when all in all, you really have intentions to be with her romantically. So you now become the manipulator. This is where I say nice guys aren't really nice guys. They aren't truthful guys. So I want to pause for a moment and really think about this. The truth is, Lacking confidence in expressing your romantic desires can have a hugely detrimental effect on your chances of moving beyond the friend zone and getting better with women and yourself. You see, confidence is a magnet for attraction. It's the thing that you don't fake. It's the irresistible quality that captivates a woman's interest and sparks her attention. When you are confident from the inside out, you exude aura of self-assurance in people really love this. It shows that you value your worth and it makes your word be seen and it's incredibly appealing. But on the flip side, when you lack confidence, you inadvertently send out signals of self-doubt and uncertainties. So you may come across as hesitant, unsure of your own desires and afraid to actually take risk in your life. And while being a caring and supportive friend, quote unquote, is admirable, it often falls short from your truth when it comes to triggering the intense romantic feelings. And honestly, this happens to a lot to women. So this is why it's hard for women to be friends with men. So here's the deal, fellas. Own your truth and confidence is key in this and having boundaries within yourself and embracing your own skin and your own sense of worthiness and love and affection for yourself. Because many times what I've seen men is they become these nice guys in this friend zone because they lack boundaries with themselves. They lack setting intentions with themselves. They lack assertiveness with themselves. And a lot of them comes from households of people of having this mindset that do right by others and people will do right to you all the time, right? But they take it to an extreme where they let people walk all over them. And that's not what you do, okay? So when you display confidence, it turns you into a magnet. It allows you to convey your genuine intentions and desires with conviction, which in turn piques the interest of a potential partner. It gives them a choice. It shows that you're not afraid to pursue what you want and that you believe in yourself and that you have high standards, which is also an incredibly attractive quality. But there's another issue that stems from settling for the friend zone guys, or more specifically, appearing to settle for the friend zone. And that brings us to number five on my list. Thinking that playing the friend card is going to get a woman to fall for you. I mentioned this a little bit in tip number four, but we're gonna go into it here. In fact, you're probably seeing this in movies. Like remember the character in There's Something About Mary? the British friend that turns out to be a guy that totally is in love with Mary and just pretends to be her caring best friend in an effort to get closer to her? Well, you don't want that to be you, okay guys? It's not true. You want to be the guy that knows that you don't want to be friends with this woman and you're not going to settle into a friendship relationship with her. That's why you have to do number two, tip number two, and show intent. And how do you do that, you might ask? Well, again, you need to work on your self-confidence, your self-worth, showing intent, confidently flirt, having that relationship with yourself and having support with a fellow coach like me that can help you. So this is how you can communicate your intentions and attract her at the same time. So we've covered the five reasons why men often find themselves in the friend zone and what you need to do to avoid it for good. I want you to remember it's not just about being the rational choice or looking good on paper. You want to make women feel an intense attraction, igniting that spark that draws them to you. So focus on creating that deeper connection rather than just checking off superficial attractiveness or goals. And then the next tip was about setting the right tone is crucial, right? Giving her space to miss you and creating that sense of anticipation. It's all about finding the balance between being reliable and mysterious and keeping her in 
intrigued and wanting more. And then you don't forget to show intent. By communicating your romantic intentions in a flirtatious and exciting way and being confident in expressing your desires while maintaining a sense of mystery and playfulness is healthy and very important. And if you're having trouble with that, I would highly encourage you to click the link below and book a free dating evaluation call with someone from my team. And then the fourth tip we talked about is when it comes to confidence, it plays a huge role to believe in yourself, value your worth, have ambitions, and not be afraid to assert romantic gestures because confident is the key. And number five, lastly, of the tip we went over was to avoid trapping or playing the friend card. And don't settle for just being friends if you have romantic feelings, own it. Work on your self-confidence and ability to confidently flirt, show interest, trust as well, because friend zone is not a zone that I want my men in anymore if you want to get results in your dating life and I'm committed to helping you. So go ahead and click that link below to book a free dating evaluation. So I hope these tips help you navigate your way out of the friend zone into meaningful romantic connections. Remember, you deserve to be someone with someone who sees you as more than just a friend. And I'm here to show you how to make sure that happens. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well. And I invite you to also continue to watch if you'd like as well. The next video over here on the display card is behaviors that women find ultimately uberly unattractive. And I would really encourage you to watch that. It's about unattractive qualities in dating and relationships. All right, guys, we'll send you much love and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.